Hey everyone! Alright, I decided to do it off of the live from Facebook because I was going to do like a speedy condensed version like with the time relapse thing on my phone just so it can make stuff go like a little bit faster. But what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to just break it down in one video like this normally and then I'm going to do the rest of the video with the time relapse so you'll be able to see you know everything that I'll do to break it down and see how you get it I always talk over myself so I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that so if I kind of talk in circles bear with me I know sometimes it's kind of hard to understand somebody that talks in circles because it's like didn't they just say that and it, I kind of confuse myself sometimes when I do it so bear with me like I said so okay I'm gonna start the tutorial off by taking my hair out of the head wrap and I did go ahead and wash my hair oh that's right I did forget to bring my natural stuff in here so I had to go grab it really quick but here are a couple of things that I actually use on my hair like as far as for natural stuff um, one of my favorites would probably be the Ores Curls Unleashed Gel Souffle. It really gives you a lot of elongated curls. Okay. It gives you a lot of elongated curls. Guys, I'm going to warn you, uh, my nails are jacked up. I only have one nail on each finger right now. I'm trying to bite them off because... I don't like how they look and they were like getting on my nerves like I liked how they look when they when I first got them done but right now I just decided like I'm gonna take all of them off whatever back to the tutorial blah, blah, blah. what did I just say back to the tutorial one of the things that I like to use is this as I am coconut co-wash I just seen this on a YouTube video not too long ago where a girl said that she used the co-wash and it really does work because obviously I used it on my hair tonight I just used just that because I knew I was gonna do the flexi rods but yeah another is this strengthened silk um, it's by silk elements but I like it it's okay it can be a little bit sticky one thing about me I don't like stuff that's sticky on my hair so Here's another one. This is the Shea Butter. Um, this is the conditioner. Obviously, it's almost gone. But I like using the shampoo and conditioner. You can get these at CVS. You can get this and this. And I, no, I didn't get this from Walmart. These two you can get from Walmart. I got this out of a beauty supply store. You can also get these, and I really like these. This is called Miss Jessie's. It's a co-wash and leave-in conditioner combo. I chose these two, but you don't have to get these two. They have a whole lot of different products. I love these. I like the way it smells because it's not too strong, but it's really not meant for the smell. A lot of a, a lot of natural things um, have like a smell to them, but you know it's not all about the smell. Sometimes it's about what it can do for your hair actually one of my favorites and it's almost gone um, it's called the B5 conditioner by OGX it's really really good on your hair um, I actually got this well decided to buy it because of my cousin shout out to Jessica she actually um, had this conditioner and I used it when we traveled to Florida so yeah the B5 actually puts a lot of definition to your hair and um, I don't think you can find this um, like well you could probably find it at a CVS or a, uh, Walgreens because I had looked it up to see where you buy it at but um, I just got mine from like a beauty supply store um, I just checked your beauty supply stores just to see and when I'm running out of all of this I end up using the wrapping lotion it's foam lap laughing lotion yep it's a foam wrapping lotion that I use you know to do the curls on my hair and stuff but actually it makes a lot of curls on my natural hair and I love it so let's get started with my tutorial now the things that you'll probably need for this are obviously the flexi rods you can get different types like I said before 
different sizes, what have you, whatever. Um, things you'll need would probably be the foam wrapping lotion, obviously. And I also get a couple combs and brushes just so you can have on hand for extra backup, like if you need to hold pieces of your hair or whatever. And um, make sure you section your hair the way that you want it and everything. Well, it's not really the way that you want it. It's basically so you can make room for the other flexi rods or whatever. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm going to do a slow version of the video first. What I did was I basically sectioned my hair with a piece or whatever. You can section them as big as you want, as little as you want, whatever. Take some and spray it in your hand as much as you need. Like I said, I overdo stuff, so I do stuff to put extra security. And you spread it through your hair. And like I said, you see why I use it like regularly because it curls up in there. Then you brush out the hair. And since I'm kind of end up kind of putting my hair up anyway, I'm going to do it in big sections because or I should just split that up. But it all depends on how many flexi rods you have and how big of a job or how tight of the curls that you want them to have and stuff. And like I said, I do stuff for extra, extra, extra security. Then I'll take a flexi rod they're kind of curled already you straighten it out and then you want to start you can start at the top but I like starting at the bottom you take a piece and you curl it under and it's easier to curl it under because your hair is damp it's gonna stick better and then along the way if you need to add more wrapping lotion you can it's gonna stick to the flexi rod a lot easier and it's gonna hold that curl a lot better and you just keep on doing the curl in the direction that you want it to go in and then you keep turning and turning and turning and now for this part so what you're gonna want to do is tuck this one the opposite way and you fold it back then you fold it back and the ways that you fold it back vary I mean really it's no specific way and like I said before in my other tutorial it's no guaranteed way of how to do stuff and you kind of flip it just so it can be in or out of the way I don't know why you'd want it in the way but you know I'm just saying so you take some of the foam, squirt it as much as you want on there, massage it through your hair, brush your hair out, and I'm going to take a small tiny one since it's not a big piece of hair, stretch it out. And then what I like to do, like I said, is start from the bottom and you take the curl and you wrap it around and like I said with the foam stuff if you need to add some more of the foam stuff for it to stay you can just wrap it around and then sometimes you'll get this that happens with these little small pieces that don't stay but it's normal and it's going to take practice I'm not gonna lie This piece folded the opposite direction or any direction that you can get it so it can be out the way and not only out the way but mainly so it can stay so I'm gonna get up and show you guys the back of my head. I won't even know what it looks like until I 
look at the video. It's already like nine something and I'm gonna have to get up to go to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna speed the process up, but I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Alright guys, so obviously this is the finished product of me putting in, hold on, that looks a little frizzy. So this is the finished product after the fact that I, you know, put them in flexi rods. Um, of course, if this is your very first time putting them in flexi rods, it's not going to be perfect, I promise you. You're going to have to unroll, re-roll, whatever. As far as sleeping on them they are very very uncomfortable to sleep on so um if you're planning on doing this style i plan on if you have like a down day and you decide hey i want to go out tonight or hey i want to look good i do it in the midday to early afternoon it takes probably about 30 minutes to do 30 45 minutes depending on the size of the curls depending on the size of the flexi rods it all just depends it depends on a lot of factors but I did mine kind of big because I'm gonna end up kind of fluffing the curls out anyway and I'll show you a picture of what my first very first flexi rod outcome was so you know when I achieved that it was pretty awesome. I was proud of myself because I did not think it was going to look that good. But, you know, to each his own, it's going to take a while. And it's just got to be something that you have to have patience with. But back to the drying aspect, I would either, if you're in a rush for time, sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. It doesn't take that long, especially if you use this. If you brush it out, comb it out, whatever, how you saw that I did it, it's not going to take that long, honestly. It's going to take about another 30 minutes. So in total, the hairstyle probably takes about two hours, maybe, like if you're pressed for time. And since I'm going to end up sleeping on it and I got to get up and go to work, it's no telling if I'm going to actually be able to have a finished video. But I probably will try to take a picture of it so you guys can actually see the results of this. Because the last time, my results were horrible and um but you can go off the picture that i end up uploading i mean it should come out like that if not then don't shoot the messenger i just kind of did whatever i look at a lot of youtube videos and i just kind of take bits and pieces from everybody so that's how i learned that's how you can learn you can learn from this video if you want to whatever but it's basically the basics of how you do flexi rods and this is exactly what I mean about me talking in circles. So as of right now, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep on these bad boys. I'm not gonna promise you that it's gonna come out perfect, but you see the gist of how to do it. And if you want me to, I can go ahead and try to look up those different products that I mentioned earlier about my natural. I can try to put those in the links below maybe, but um, most of the stuff, like I said, you can find at Walmart, Dollar General, whatever. And, I mean, even if you want to get something expensive, it's, you give it for what you pay for, you know what I mean? It's, so it's just kind of all in your preference and everything, but, anyways, I'm going to lay it down, get ready for work tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully I can make more videos like this and whatnot, but I hope you enjoyed. Good night.